Hey, y'all. In the midst of this global pandemic, when the world is going awry, when supermarkets are sold out, when there's a new press conference every hour on the hour, when my mind begins to race about the possibilities of what if and what could be, I found complete solace and peace in taking a moment to quiet my mind, to breathe and to pray. So will you pray with me? Eternal God, our creator, we say thank you. If we had 10,000 tongues, we could not thank you enough. And so God, we say thank you. In the midst of uncertainty, we say thank you. In the midst of chaos, we say thank you. God, we thank you because you have dealt with pandemics in the past. God, you've dealt with black death. God, you've dealt with smallpox. God, you've dealt with yellow fever. And God, there have been those who have lived to tell about it. And so, and so for that, we say thank you. God, right now we come to you just praying for those who are in need. God, we pray for those who are sick and suffering. We pray for those who are grieving the loss of loved ones. God, we pray for those who are medical personnel and others who are on the front lines, who are here to help and heal, oh Father God. We thank you for their lives, oh God. We ask that you put a head fence of protection around them, oh God. God, we ask that you would bless those whose lives and livelihoods are threatened by business closures, oh Father God. God, we are praying for families who are learning to live and work and learn and play in close quarters, oh God. We pray for those who are currently in uncertain times, oh Father God. We pray for those who aren't safe in their own homes, oh God. We pray for those who are struggling with isolation, loneliness, and addiction, oh God. We pray for those who who have been called and who haven't, oh, Father God. God, we pray for your children. We pray for your people, oh, God. And God, as we enter Holy Week, oh, God, we say thank you. God, and we ask that on this day that we would have a spirit and a fight like Mary, oh, Father God, that no matter what the world thinks, no matter what the world sees or says, oh, Father God, that we would begin to continually pour our oil on your feet, oh, Father God, and anoint your feet, oh, Father God, even when those around us think that it's a waste, oh, Father God, we ask that you would allow our actions and our thoughts on a daily to continue to anoint you your feet, oh Father God. Even when those around us don't see the benefit, oh Father God, we ask that you would allow us to continually daily anoint your feet, Father God. We ask that you would continue to wrap your loving arms of care around us and let us walk out this week with you and do what it is that you've asked us to do. Do what it is that we've been called to do and be a beacon and a light in this world for you. All these things we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen.